Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, we want to look at International Teacher Exchange Services. Now, the reason I'm looking at this is because this is one of the easiest of all the of all the sponsors. This is the easiest one to uh, to apply with. Okay, so just go to your web internet and type International International Teacher Exchange Services or ITES online. Then you'll get to this website okay so ITES is international teacher exchange services they're dedicated to building international friendship and cultural understanding through teaching exchange they believe that they are tasked with preparing students for today to be ready to compete in a global workspace and all that good stuff okay but with because we are teachers we're only in looking at this part here for teachers so I will click on about our program to see what's about it. They say that they're designated by the US state. ITES is an authorized sponsor for the Exchange Vista program. ITES has been used effectively for many years to enhance overall education students by exp exposing them to cultures and diversity of professionally qualified experienced international teachers. Then ITES sponsors teachers from all over the globe and works with schools from all across America. Then for exchange visitors, we provide pre-departure information and advice as we as uh, comprehensive visa application instructions and all the, all the good stuff, okay? Then, now let's move on and look at eligibility requirements. What do you need? So what do I need? Do you meet the qualifications for teaching at the primary or secondary level in your home country or country of residence? So that's the first requirement. If you meet those qualifications in your country, then you also meet them in this country. Now, there's a word of caution here. For example, in Kenya, when you teach in a primary level, you do not need a degree. But in the in the US, even a primary school teacher must have a degree. So if you get if you have a even though you are teaching in primary level in Kenya, if you do not have a degree, you still do not meet the qualification requirements for the US. I hope that makes sense, okay? So that's one thing that you can talk about. Then secondly, do you possess a degree equivalent to a US bachelor's degree in either education or academic subjects taught? And you see the three stars there. Let's look at these three stars. What do they mean? It's down here. As part of a full application to ITES, you will be required to have your foreign education credentials evaluated by a member of the National Association of Credential Evaluation Services, or NACES, to determine their U.S. equivalence. We recommend using Spantran because they offer all ITES applicants a discounted rate for the course analysis report. If you click here, now if you click on this, you'll get the discounted rate, okay? So for the ITES, if you want to do your evaluation, you'll click on that and go to NACES and go to Spantran and Spantran will give you a discount. And typically it's about $30 discount, which is not bad considering the economy, okay? Thirdly, so, oh, we, we did finish this. Do you possess a degree equivalent to a US bachelor's degree in either education or the academic subject to be taught? So, for example, if you want to teach math, you have a degree in math, but you have a postgraduate diploma in education, then you will qualify, okay? So, there are very many combinations. I do not want to talk about them. You can always write your combination in the, in the, in the comment section, and I will respond to you immediately. Then, thirdly, do you possess sufficient proficiency and command of English language to participate effectively? The way they measure this is they do an interview. They have a, they hold an interview with you and just ask you a few questions to determine how you respond. So that would be sufficient proof that you understand and have a command of English. So they don't have like an exam or something like that, okay? Now, do you have at least two years full-time e teaching experience? Remember they said at least two years, okay? So if you have less... Please wait until you have two years before you apply with ITES, okay? Are you of good reputation and character? The only way to know about this is if you have your certificate of good conduct from your local authorities, okay? 
Then finally, do you agree to come to the U.S. temporarily as a full-time teacher of record in an accredited primary or secondary K kindergarten through 12th grade school? That's what that means, okay? So if you have all these, then you meet. So let's say we have all this and we meet, okay? So because we have all that, we shall click here. Then this will actually give you the detail. This is where you, uh, you apply. This is where you apply for ITIS. So you just put your name. Let's say my name is John, okay? Uh, oh, surname or last name. Sorry. My last name is, uh, is Kamau. Given name or first name and middle name. John Chege. So my name is John Chege Kama, okay? Personal email, jkk at jkkgroup.com. Of course, that's just uh, something, okay? Country of citizenship. I'll choose Kenya because I'm from Kenya, but you can choose your country, okay? So where is my country? Oh, where is my country? Oh, uh, there you go, Kenya. Country of residence where you currently reside. Maybe I, I'm in China right now, okay? Then primary area of teaching. So what's your primary area of teaching? So they only do... What they want is special ed, science, math, English, and French. But if U.S. does not appear here, you can click other. Okay, other. And what is this other? It is history. Okay. Then what's your secondary? Secondary is also other. And what's this other? It is geography. Okay. So I'm a geography history teacher. Then what is the highest degree level attained? So let me explain what this means. A bachelor's degree is just if you graduated with a bachelor's degree, that's it. Now, bachelor's plus 18 credits means you have a bachelor's degree and a postgraduate diploma. So if you have a postgraduate diploma, it's a bachelor and 18 credits. A master's is exactly, if you have a master's, then that's it. You have a master's. If you have a master's plus 30, it means that you have a master's degree. You have enrolled for your doctorate and you have finished your coursework. Or you have two master's degrees. Okay, so it's either you have a master's, have enrolled for your doctorate, and you have completed your coursework, so now you're in your dissertation phase, or you have two master's degrees. That's when you get master's, press 30. Or now the last one is a doctorate, that's the highest level. Okay, for us, let's choose bachelor's plus 18, because remember we did history, and then we went and did a postgraduate diploma in geography or education, something like that, okay? Teach years of teaching experience, uh, we've done five years. Years you've held a full driving license. If you say zero, they cancel you. So let's say one. Oh no, let's say one, yeah? Because it's at least one. Have you previously talked in the United States of America? If yes, provide the states and the dates. No, we've never been there. So I'll click no. How did you hear about us? Now for this one... <coughs> There was other, and then you put website, uh, YouTube, yeah? Bye. Pl please put my name there, okay? That way they can see that I'm promoting their nice videos. Then, there is another part here that is very important that I need you to see. This says, uh, list any eligible family members to be considered in your initial application the reason why they want initial application is because they want, want you to change along the way you know some people start by saying oh you know i only am by myself then when they get the chance suddenly they are married suddenly they have two children so that's what they are avoiding so make sure if you have a child if you're married even if you do not have a marriage certificate list it here now will you be bringing any eligible family members to, with you to the u.s yes then they give you a space for that, okay? Now, J2 dependent. Select your relationship. Legal spouse. Okay? Legal spouse. 
Then what's the surname of your legal spouse? Of course, my legal spouse. It might be that they are not Kamau. They are maybe Atieno because I got her from the fish people. Huh? And her name is Rose Anne. No, Rosemary. Rosemary. Rosemary Atieno. And then date of birth. This date of birth must align with your spouse's date of birth. So don't just pick any date, okay? So because my spouse was born in where? What what dates do spouses get born right now? Let's say 1990, right? I think that's good enough. Maybe January 1st, 1990. That's when she was born. Oh, she's 34. Okay. Gender, female, of course. Allah. Now, next one. J2 dependent. I have a dependent children. Surname. Of course, they take my name. My name is Kamau this time around. Then what's the name of the child? My my child's name would be what? Uh, Silas Junior. Silas Junior Kamau. Date of birth. Uh, we shall put what? 20, 20, 2018. February. Maybe 7th, 2018. So which means he's 6. And he's male. I have one more. I have one more baby. So I click there. Relationship, dependent child. This is also a Kamau. And what is the given name? Is Brenda. Brenda Favor. Uh, that's a nice name, right? Then date of birth of Brenda Favor. Because the other one was 2018. Maybe this one is uh, 20 what? 20, 20, 20, 20. Yep, May. May 28th. There you go. She's four years old. Female. Good. Then the last thing for uh, ITES is just upload your resume. And your resume will not be anything fancy. Just make sure it has your name and all your details. And then ensure that it has like your work experience, where you've worked, what you did, and your position. You just click choose document, upload the document, and then submit the information. And that's it. That's it for ITES. There's no, uh, there's no hidden, there's no fee, there's nothing hidden. Once you've done that, when you click submit, you have done it. And it's easy like that. So I hope that this gives you an idea. And ITES is a very good employer. They will bring you here as fast as they can. So please go in. Put in your subject. All subjects can be put in here. Make sure you choose a subject in there. Make sure you take what you can. And make sure that you, I mean, click other. Put in, if you have PE, put physical education. We have physical, we have almost 100 subjects in the US. So your subject will be among the ones they want. Just put it in there. The, the worst they can do is to tell you that we are not taking your subject. Okay. I hope this gives you an idea of how to fill the ITES, ITES uh, program. And good luck. And I will see you guys in the next video.